Hi, my name is Andre. I was born and raised in a Christian household with Christian values. My mom and dad, they sang in choir. My dad still sings in choir, also my mom. And uh, my grandfather, who was a big part of my growing up life, he was a pastor of the local church. So as a child, I used to hang out with him quite a bit. We used to drive around to the rural communities in Lithuania and spread the God's word to people. And I enjoyed it quite a bit. I moved to Canada at the age of 19. I got married very young. And uh, when I came to Canada, I got found a local church, got into local church. And even though I got myself plugged in, in uh, the ministry in there, sometime later on, I started to drift away from God. I started to become more confident about myself, started thinking that the things that I got in life were due to my somewhat success, and I let Satan have a little more of my life, to which he took a full blast at. I started to look for worldly things in life. And uh, that slowly consumed me. And from that time, my life started going downhill very quick. Due to some choices I made in my life, I went through divorce. I lost a lot of friends in my life and I stopped going to church completely. So even though I turned my back on God, he has never turned his back on me. And looking at it now, I know that even at my lowest point, he was there. And even through all my struggles that I was going through, he was kept on knocking at my door, my heart's door. But at some point I was too ashamed and too guilty over the things that I have done. And I just didn't want to come close to him. Now things slowly started to change one Sunday morning when I decided to go to church. And I found the back row one of those seats where you know you just come in you kind of hide and we started to worship and during the worship pastor came up and he started talking about healing now i heard about it all before and it kind of wasn't speaking to me at that point i was just standing there and listening and he said to put your hand on the body part that is kind of hurting or bothering or whatever is going on with you and I didn't pay much attention to it, to be honest. So we prayed. And after the prayer, pastor said that somebody in the room that has been struggling with nightmares for a long time, God wants to heal him. And I knew it was to me. And I was extremely surprised because I never told it to anybody, nor did I pray about it. But even more, I was surprised that God actually cared for me and even though that I didn't feel like I was worthy he was doing something to me I can't say that that day my life changed all 360 but things started to shift and that day I started to want to see God for myself not because I was brought up in a Christian household not faith based on my parents or my grandfather but it was for me because I wanted to seek relationship with God. So my name is Jordan. I am from Canada and uh, I grew up in the church. My parents were both Sunday school teachers. I was a Sunday school teacher. I led vacation Bible school every summer. I went to youth group twice a week. All my friends were Christian, like everything was all about Jesus all the time, had Bible verses on the walls, whole nine yards. But uh, I also really struggled with my mental health and with my physical health um, and with chronic pain. And that was made worse by being a competitive gymnast. And when I was in high school, I was prescribed some really serious painkillers from a local doctor and that opened up a door to me that I never thought about before and uh, 
it led me down a really long road of addiction. Um, I started using drugs and alcohol and stopped going to youth group. I moved out of my parents' house as soon as I graduated high school so that I didn't have to go to church because that was the rule. If you lived at home, you had to go to church every Sunday. And I was like, not for me. So I left the church and I just felt like God didn't want me. Nothing was good enough. I wasn't good enough. And who would ever love somebody that was a drug addict? And certainly not God, not Jesus. That was not for me. I continued down that road of addiction for many years. I tried to take my own life a few times. And I tried to get clean a few times as well, but I couldn't do it by myself. I always relapsed. I always felt guilt and shame. And despite all of that, my mom kept reminding me that she was praying for me, church was praying for me, and that God loved me. When I was 24, I decided I was going to take my life. I purposely overdosed and while I was laying there on the floor I started to pray for the first time in so many years and I was like why would you let this happen if you loved me why would you let me struggle why would you let me feel depression feel anxiety why would you let me have ADHD and struggle with all of those things for so many years? Why would you let me hurt myself? Why would you let those people into my life that influenced me? And all I kept hearing back was, I've been here the whole time and I still love you. This isn't your last chance. <laughs> this isn't the end of the road. And I made a promise to God that night that if he woke me up in the morning, I would stop using drugs, I would stop using alcohol, and I would try to find him again. And then I woke up in the morning, and I was like, okay, well, you held up your end of the deal, so now I've got to hold up my end of the deal. And I did quit using drugs. Um, I quit using alcohol, and I started going to NA and AA meetings where I found God again. And I was taught to lean on Him, that there was no way to make anything better of myself without God's help. Because I'm just a person, and a person makes mistakes, and a person lives in sin, but Jesus is perfect. God is perfect, and they are there for me.